Uh, my name is Jishan Guo. I'm assistant professor at the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. It's a great pleasure to um, talk a little about my research. I want to thank Michael, Subis, and Jennifer for their organizing efforts again. And um, it's on the web machine learning meets technical theory and towards verifiable and intelligent real-time cyber-physical systems. So a little bit about me, um, I, as you can see that I, I did my bachelor's and master's in, in China and Hong Kong. And back then, my research focus was on machine learning and neural networks. While doing PhD, I um, switched my focus into real-time systems, especially on scheduling theory. And I joined UCF in 2018, have spent almost four years here. Um, uh, mainly, I teach embedded systems, real-time systems here, and um, uh, on both undergrads and the graduate level. Um, I really strive very high for student excellence when teaching and mentoring, um, as you can see from my teaching evaluations here. Um, also, on the research side, um, as I mentioned, my research focus has been on real-time scheduling theory and also machine learning theory with various type of applications to intelligent systems. Um, we strike high for publishing in the most uh, uh, flagship and, and impactful venues on um, both um, CS ranking conferences and um, transaction papers. Um, and, and our work, especially at UCF, um, has received high recognition by the community, research community in real time and embedded systems domain, such as the best papers awards in, in RTSS, which is a flagship conference in real time systems and YAMSOP, which is a flagship conference in embedded systems, and also DAC, which is the um, flagship conference in uh, uh, design automation. Um, in terms of service, I heavily serve the uh, research community by serving, help organizing conferences, and also serving as like PC members and reviewers for journals and conferences. Um, since I've given a, a similar talk about a year ago in, in my general research of all the ongoing projects that are supported by mostly NSF and also like Cyber Florida and, and some industry partners, uh, especially on the machine learning side with applications and collaborations with like uh, the Rosen College here and uh, mechanical department and also uh, College of Medicine. Those are collaborations on applying machine learning theory for uh, hotel and tourism and for healthcare and, um, um, and the medical um, education. But today, my focus will be uh, more switched into real-time scheduling, as this might be a less known um, domain, and, and, and there are actually quite some, some interesting um, works that we are doing. Um, so, um, so today I'm just more focused on my research in, in terms of scheduling theory and how it applies um, uh, since my last talk covers most of the other works on machine learning and, and other uh, collaborations with various colleges. So um, real-time systems, where it, we need scheduling theory are the systems where it provides both logical correctness, as all computer systems does, and also temporal correctness. This means that predictability is often as important as logical correctness. These are the provably guaranteed responses within strict timing constraints, and these are often represented by deadlines. So in terms of scheduling theory, there are in general two types of algorithms that we care about. One is given the limited resource and various type of workloads or our demands, which one should we prioritize at which time? And that is the scheduling algorithm. And the second type of, of algorithm that we care about is whether we can provide the sufficient end-to-end -end delay responses and, and to guarantee that all these deadlines are being met. So what type of algorithms, given the scheduler already, what type of algorithms or conditions do we need to check in order to guarantee such correctness? So as we all know that systems gets more and more complicated um, from the platform complexity uh, in terms of the system awareness in the design and also from the application level, that, that may due to the emerging um, appli uh, application of machine learning algorithms 
It also is a emerging of the um, sensor and platform techniques. So I would just, just uh, try to uh, talk uh, about some of our recent and ongoing efforts in addressing these um, challenges. The first one is on schedule uh, system uncertainty and unreliability. As you can see here, down here, um, there are two examples. One is this very simple line of code. In the classical uh, Motorola, uh, part of the classical 8086 platform, it will only take 20 cycles to finish in the best case and in the worst case. It's very deterministic. But with more modern platforms, this Motorola PC755, which is today still very widely used in commercial aircrafts, studies have shown that this single line of piece of code, most of the time will take single digit cycle to finish. But then in the worst case, it may take 321 cycles just for the single line piece of work, a uh, piece of code to, to execute. And here is another example. This is a slide that I, uh, I borrowed from a presentation by a senior manager in South, which does all the timing analysis for Airbus. What they do given a piece of code is that, of course, they, they calculate all the cash flushing and the computation time and give the worst case ex execution measurement, but then they add a very large safety margin. This means that during actual runtime, about 90% of the resource are being wasted because of safety requirements. So this big gap between the average case or typical case execution time and the worst case due to whatever reasons of uncertainties of safety requirements is getting larger and larger. And the growth of the platform of the speed that cannot really catch up with that. So that's why there is a shift towards this mixed criticality design where we must have system mode switches such that we can cope with both optimistic measurements and also static analysis. And, and that is one line of research that we are trying to handle. So basically we want to design a system where in the worst case, even we need those margins, even if it does uh, execute 300 something cycles, the temporal correctness will be guaranteed. But under most normal circumstances, we want the system resource to be well utilized instead of being wasted. So there, there is a dual notion of correctness and objectives in this system design. And also the, uh, the tasks, the workloads gets more complicated as well. For example, GPUs can be used even in embedded systems nowadays. So the workload that we are looking at are not only simple like a unicore processor workloads, they are GAN workloads that uh, has representations of degree of parallelism. So this is what, what uh, actually our pioneering work that extends the previous mixed criticality scheduling theory into the scan tasks that takes degree of parallelism into consideration. Furthermore, we realized that not only the computations are need to be scheduled, maybe the communications becomes the bottleneck for future IoT and CPS systems. So that's why we um, also look into workload that has uh, different phases. And you may have a non-preemptive communication phase and then a parallel uh, computation phase. In this case, how can we minimize the duration or we call it mixed span in scheduling a theory of the whole set of workload? On the other side, for, regarding resource and energy efficiency of the platform, we look specifically into this so-called DAG, theoretic acidic graph task set. And this task set, this, this uh, model, has very wide applications in such as um, TensorFlow, OpenMP, and it very well captures the data dependency as a, and the flow within the programs. And, and uh, it has uh, applications to like AutoSAR, Apollo, ROS, and OpenMP, so on and so forth. And we, our group, we established, we are the first one that established a, a, a routine to handle these task sets in terms of resource efficiency. So basically we need to decompose the task set and do the merging and then using uh, considering the um, inter-task and the inter-core relationships to conduct the merging 
of, of these tasks and assignments and how to schedule them in terms of the space and time. So these are some line of the work. And we actually even implemented the approaches and on the actual platform, this is the Android Zoo 3 a platform where we can very precisely monitor the uh, energy use inside uh, the, the platform. And uh, moreover, we does the response time analysis for this whole end-to-end -end DAG tasks. So from the beginning releasing time all the way until the last node finishes. On the third, uh, the third uh, part, we, we also explored the probabilistic and, and thought uh, probability information and also uh, the cache and the security awareness of the system. So we know that the traditional scheduling theory, the model of the workload focuses more on the worst case performances. But then when considering energy, it's not only the worst case energy that matters, it's also the average or expected energy cons consumption rate that, that matters as well. So we have to explore probabilistic uh, information inside these and also um, uh, we considered like uh, the inside the system architecture where the cache, memory, and, and, and some isolation requirements in between the tasks, and how do we cope with that in terms of the space and time uh, isolation. Uh, one of the applications that our group specifically look, like, uh, look at is this F110, which is a 110 scale autonomous racing car. It, it is a very um, a well established platform for autonomous racing. But what we are actually building on top of it is implementing this very new ROS2 platform on, onto this uh, uh, F110 platform. This way, not only because ROS2 is, is, a, is a new version of ROS that can provide timing guarantees, real time correctness. So, so there's a lot of new analysis and designs that we need to do such that from the sensor all the way to the actuator, the end-to-end -end guarantees, response guarantees can be made. And inside the executor, we have to modify the uh, library and the uh, operating system uh, schedulers so that to achieve uh, what, what we need. I want to thank uh, my PhD students who already graduated and also my postdoc and undergrad students also, I, I, I want to thank all the collaborators and the funding resources. Thank you very much for your attention.